I know that you are already familiar with this type of figure, but how about the parts of it? Let's find out in this video. Good day learners, today we're going to talk about the parts of a circle. By definition, a circle is a set of points equidistant from a fixed point called center. So, kung titignan natin yung illustration, we have the center and we can name the center by any capital letters. So, suppose this is A or point A. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung name ng circle natin would be circle A. Okay? So, that will be read as circle A. A. Okay, ito yung uh, symbol natin for circle. Now, as uh, by the definition, sabi di, sa definition, yung circle ay binubuo ng mga infinite number of points. So, ito siya ng mga points dito around the circle. Those points are equidistant from our fixed point called the center. Okay. Now, let's talk about the second part. So, yung second part naman natin, we call that one as the Radius. A radius is a line segment whose endpoints are the center and any points on the circle. So if we're going to draw a radius, we're going to have or draw it from the center to any points on the circle. So, alimba, dito. so let's name this one as B. So yung line segment AB, that would be our radius. So, yung radius natin dito sa illustration natin would be line segment AB. Pwede rin natin siyang balik ta rin. Pwede natin gawing line segment BA. So, as we all as we notice, yung end points ng radius natin ay yung center at yung pangalawang end point naman niya is any point na nasa circle. Okay. Next part, we have the diameter. The diameter is twice the length of the radius. A diameter is a cord that passes through the center. So, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng diameter? So, gaya ng sabi, sabi kanina, yung diameter is twice the length of the radius. So, we can draw any diameters or infinite number of diameters but uh, we must take note na yung diameter should pass through the center of the circle. Suppose I'm going to draw a diameter here. I'm going to name the diameter C, D. Okay, line segment pa rin yung diameter. Then, yung end points ng diameter would be any points on the circle. Okay? So, yung diameter natin dito would be segment C, D. Or pwede rin D, C. Okay? Now, what if yung core or yung line segment ay hindi tatama dun sa center or hindi magpapass through the center of the circle. So, we call that one as a chord. Okay, suppose we have E, F. So, yung chord natin, chord is a line segment whose end points are any points on the circle. So, yung end points ng chord natin ay any points on the circle. So, kung mapapansin natin yung end points niya ay uh, nasa circle or on the circle. So, yung end points niya would be E, point E, and point F. So, we can name the chord as line segment E, F, or by the line segment F, E. Sa circle, yung pinakamataas na chord ay tinatawag natin na diameter. Okay. So, same lang sila ng diameter. Kasi nga, yung diameter, yung end points niya rin ay nasa circle or any points on the circle. Pag ang chord dumaan sa center, it would be considered as a diameter. So, ibig sabihin nito, all diameters are chords but not all chords are diameters. Next part, we have tangent. Tangent is a ring, a line, or a segment that intersects a circle at exactly one point. Suppose this is our tangent line. So, kung mapapansin natin, yung line natin, uh, it intersects the circle at exactly one point. So, again, pag sinabi natin tangent, tatama or mag-i-intersect lang siya sa circle at, at exactly one point. 
So, yung tangent line natin dito would be line. So, yung simple natin sa taas would be line. Line G H. Or pwede ring line H G. Yung intersection naman ng tangent line at saka ng circle, we call that one as the point of tangency. So, in this case, yung point of tangency natin would be point H. Okay. Now, what if yung line or yung ray or yung line segment ay katama sa circle ng dalawang beses? What do we call that one? So, we call that one as second. A second is a ray, a line, or a line segment that intersects a circle at two points. So, we have here our example of second. Okay? So, yung line IJ is a second. Kasi nga, itong line na ito ay nag-intersect sa circle at two points. So, yung point of intersection niya would be point I and point J. Okay? So, yung second line natin would be line I, J. So, pwede rin line J, I. Now, how about arcs? Ano yung mga arcs sa circuit? Let's talk about arcs. When we say arc, this is just a portion of a circuit or a part of a circuit. So, from here to here, suppose this one, we call that one as an arc because it is just a portion of a circuit. So, from this point to this point is also an arc. So, that is just a part or a portion of a circle. So, we are going to discuss now three types of arc. The first one is what we call the semicircle. So, yung measurement ng semicircle, it is exactly 180 degrees. Okay. So, magbe-base tayo dun sa diameter natin. Yung diameter natin dito sa first circle would be XZ. Okay. So, again, the measurement of the semicircle is equal to or exactly equal to 180 degrees. So, from the end points of the diameter, kukunin natin or susulat natin yung arc or susulat natin yung semicircle. So, we have X, then papunta ng Y, then papunta ng Z. So, yung first semicircle natin would be semicircle X, Y, Z. Most of the time, ang pagkakasulat natin sa semicircle, gumagamit tayo ng 3 points or 3 letters. Okay? Yung uh, symbol naman ng arc is ganito, curve sa taas. We use 2 letters but most of the time, gumagamit tayo ng 3 letters. Now, make sure na yung end points or yung uh, first and last letter would be the end points of the diameter. <clears throat> because the diameter divides the circle into 2 equal parts or 2 semicircles. So, pwede rin dito sa baba. We have X, L, Z. So, we can write diameter or semicircle X, L, Z. Okay. Yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga letters ay depende kung ano yung, ano yung path na sinusunod mo sa R. Okay. So, suppose we have from X, then L to Z. Okay. Therefore, yung pagkakasulat ng mga points mo would be starting from X, then L, then lastly Z. Okay? So, pwede rin siyang Z, L, X. Okay? Depende na yan sa pagkakasulat. Now, how about the second type of arc? We call this one as the minor arc. Now, the minor arc, the degree measurement of the minor arc is less than 180 degrees. Okay. So, na-define na natin yung semicircle na one exactly 180 degrees. Therefore, mas mababa si minor arc or yung measurement, yung degree measurement ni minor arc is less than the semicircle. Okay. Sa so minor arc naman, usually gumagamit tayo ng two letters para ma-name ang minor arc. So, suppose we have R, M, N. Okay. So, again, yung pag R, hindi siya straight line. Okay? Kasi part siya ng circle. So, ibig sabihin nito, may curve siya. So, we have minor arc MN. Yung minor arc NN ay same lang sa minor arc NM. Okay? So, mapapansin niyo yung degree measurement niya, hindi umabot dun sa semicircle. Or, or mas mababa or less than sa sukat ng semicircle. So, we can have or we can... Uh, say that MN is a minor arc. Ano pa yung mga minor arcs natin? Uh, 
uh, we can also have PM. Okay. So minor R P M. And how about P N? Can we consider that one? Okay, no, we cannot consider that one. Because if you're going to draw uh, diameter dito, mapapansin natin na yung PN, yung arc PN ay lumampas sa semicircle. So, hindi na siya minor arc. Okay? So, you can add any points dito. Kaya na bahala. As long as, by definition, dapat yung degree measurement niya would be less than 180 degrees. The last type of arc we call this one as the major arc. Okay, yung major arc naman, degree measure is greater than 180 degrees. So, lalampas siya dun sa semicircle. So, ano ba yung mga major arcs natin dito? So, we have major arc J, K, L. Okay? Usually, gumagamit rin tayo ng three letters para ma-name yung major arc. So, we have major arc J, K, L. Okay? How about K, L? Can we consider this one as a major arc? Okay, hindi. Kasi nga, mas mababa or mas yung degree measurement niya is less than 180 degrees. Okay? Mapapasin nyo yan kasi pwede naman tayong uh, mag-draw ng any diameters dito sa circle. Okay? Ano pa yung mga major arcs natin? We also have L, J, K. Okay? R, L, J, K. So, these are just examples. So, bakit major arc yung L, J, K? So, Ipa-follow lang natin yung path ng mga points niya. So, from L, we're going to move sa J papunta ng K. Obviously, yung degree measurement niya is greater than 180 degrees. Therefore, LJK is, again, an example of a major arc. Now, it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.